What up all my fish tank ninjas and welcome to the May 2018 reef update. Spoiler alert, I don't think this is going to end exactly how you think it's going to. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here, 10th time here, you just want to shout out, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe and head over to that bell, give it a nice little bow, become a fish tank ninja and let me know in the comments below. Fish Tank Ninja of the Day announced at the end of the video. She's adorable. Ugh. Just a little backstory. Stephanie and I have been on the road for the past two and a half weeks. And I'm excited to see the tank, but the first thing I noticed when I got here was a package from Perk and Ock. It's new. It's exclusive. It's the infamous aquatics tea. Check this out. Fish Tank Ninja. That's amazing. As I'm looking around the tank, a handful of things are just like popping right out in front of me. Immediately, I'm noticing the glass. It's been about two or three months and it seems like it's about that time that I give it a nice scrubbing. The second thing, if you haven't seen the last update, I'll have it pop up in one of the corners. Uh, the elegance is the primary focus of that. It wasn't doing too well and it's still looking like it's not doing too well. And lastly, the Favia seems like it's having a little bit of a bubble algae outbreak and um, bubble algae is never fun to deal with so I really want to tackle this immediately. Everything else is looking great. The thing is I don't have much time to address the few issues we're having with the tank right now. So my goal for the day was simply to come over, take a look at the reef tank, establish what is doing good, what is doing bad, take that information home, and come up with a plan of action to get this tank exactly where I want it to be. But I do have time to grab these buckets because it's time I get some fresh water. And I did just that in Houston, where I spent about the last five days. For those of you wondering, I'm gonna clear a few things up. Yes, I still buy my water. Yes, I buy it in Houston. Yes, I live in Austin now. And yes, I could get an RODI in it. The thing is though, I kinda just like doing it this way. While I was there, I started reading the comments in regards to the elegance, and there was a ton of advice. Thank y'all for that. There was two that really stood out, one being from Bare Necessities. He said that he was having the same problem with his elegance, and the moment that he took it and put it in a spot that had more light, like much more light, it did a total 180. Second came from my friend Nick at Ocean Life Aquariums. He simply said, maybe the 10% water change I did was just not enough to meet up with the tank's demands. And since it's been a month, and that makes a lot of sense, today seems like a good day to do just that. But before we get into that, we should probably clean this glass. Salt water, siphon, and a bucket. Because it's time for one, two, two and a half gallon water changes. We're doing such a large water change just in case there's any contaminants in the tank. This way we're able to take as much of that out as possible and we split it between two smaller water changes just in case the parameters from the water we're putting in is drastically different than the water we're taking out. 
This way we do not shock Baby Beauty. Since I'm a nomadic reefer, it took a few days to be able to get here to do the second water change. But when I arrived, I noticed a few things about the tank. The most obvious being the water clarity. And this makes sense since we did just scrape the glass for the first time since we set up the tank two months ago. Second being the elegance. And since it doesn't look any better or any worse, I think it's a good idea to take bare necessities suggestion and put it in a position where it's gonna get a little bit more light. The best spot to me seems to be where the Duncan is. So I'm gonna have them exchange places and uh, hope it works. And the next thing I noticed is we have free anemones in the tank, but I'm not talking about the fun, beautiful, colorful, bubble tip anemones that everyone wants. I'm talking about Aptasia. So we're definitely gonna have to add that to the list of things that's going on with Baby Beauty. And to top it off, it looks like Bubble algae is a much bigger problem than I ever expected. And if you're anything like me, you're probably extremely curious on how everything is going to work out. But unfortunately, it's the end of the month. And well, this is a monthly reef update. So you have two options. You could go down and subscribe, tap that bell, become a fish tank ninja, and uh, get the notification when that update is released or you can follow me on Instagram at Infamous Aquatics. The choice is yours. But if you have any suggestions on how to deal with this Aptasia slash bubble algae, leaving a comment down below is much appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of vlog style reef update, don't hesitate to hit that likes button. It takes a lot of effort to make a video like this. And well, the likes are kind of motivating to be honest. So like button, dislike button. It's up to you. Till next time, guys, take like a boss and don't forget to do amazing things. Ha! Ah. Like trick a sibling into driving into town to visit you and having them pay for you to watch Deadpool. Spoiler alert, it's amazing. Also, happy Memorial's Day.